We're working on an ASUS laptop computer. And the problems we're addressing in this video are if your computer is uh, not turning on, if it's freezing, or if it's turning on and then turning itself back off. Uh, now keep in mind with most computer repairs, there's a troubleshooting process involved uh, to find out what's wrong. This is because there's usually multiple different possible causes for any one issue that you're seeing. So we need to troubleshoot to find out which one of those things is causing your computer to behave like it is. Now in this case, with these issues, the first, the easiest things that we can diagnose for is a possible static buildup, a bad charger, or a bad battery. And the general rule of thumb with diagnosing a computer is you start with the easiest or cheapest fixes first, diagnose those, and then if those are not the cause, you move on to the more complicated repairs or the more expensive repairs. Uh, so remember, this is a computer that's not turning on, freezing, or turning on and then off. Um, if your computer symptoms are not that, you probably are on the wrong video. If your computer is turning on but the screen's just staying black, go into the description and check out video number one for that fix. Also, if your computer is turning on but getting into sort of a, a boot loop where it just keeps rebooting and rebooting, in the description, that's video two for that fix. So let's start off here. The first thing we're gonna diagnose for is your static buildup. You're gonna first unplug your charger, flip your computer over, and take out your battery. Now usually the batteries will have two clips or one clip and you can just slide it right out. This computer has an internal battery. Um, so I had to take the, uh, all the screws out of the bottom and uh, take this computer apart to get at, at my battery. After you take your screws out, you're gonna take a small flat metal pry tool and you're gonna gently and carefully go along the seam of your bottom case and your palm rest and you're gonna pry them apart. Now you won't know until you get a little bit into it if the palm rest is gonna come off or if the bottom case is gonna come off. It all depends on where a majority of the components are attached to. So just go nice and slow. Oh, mine's loose now. Now when you get yours loose, don't just rip it off because in this case, as you can see, it's my palm rest that came off. As you can see, there's a lot of ribbon cables that are connecting the palm rest to the motherboard. So if I just rip this off, I'm gonna break some stuff. So I'm gonna disconnect those it's a really bad angle to see. So I'm gonna disconnect them first and then I'll take you in and show you what I did. Okay, so put the palm rest aside. Now those ribbon cables were attached to various ports in my computer. I used a plastic pry tool, not a metal one. Uh, a metal one could damage some things if you're poking around on a live motherboard, you could end up damaging your motherboard. So use a plastic pry tool. And these clips here, I had one here and I had one here. Uh, these have little, the, the ribbon cable ports and they have little plastic clips on them. The clips go down to secure the ribbon in and then they pop up to allow you to release it. So what I did is I took my pry tool and I popped it up very, very carefully. And now I'm gonna put it back down uh, for safety so I don't break them. Those are impossible to find to replace. So be very careful taking those off if you have to in this process. Now my battery is here, and my battery just sits on the motherboard port. So it's kind of easy for me to take it off. I'm just gonna... Mine just comes right off like that. Um, a lot of batteries will have a wire that comes off of the battery that plugs into your motherboard. So just keep track of how your battery is actually coming out. Now unfortunately, since I had to take my palm rest off, hopefully you had to take your bottom case, but I need to reattach my power button. I don't necessarily have to reattach my keyboard or, or my touchpad, but my power button I need to reattach because I need it for the rest of this procedure. All right. All right, so set the palm rest back. All right, now the first thing you're gonna do, hold the power button down for one minute, and this drains out the static from the machine. Now, a lot of you, if you've ever done this, or if you've ever called in for like warranty repair on a laptop, you'll know this is the first step they have you do. Uh, in most of those processes is they'll have you hold the power button down for a minute to drain the static. Static can come from anywhere. Uh, maybe your surge protector is going bad. Maybe you're not using one. Uh, maybe your charge is going bad, your battery's going bad. 
or perhaps you're just using your computer around sources of static too often. Um, blankets, pillows, maybe you're letting your pet sleep on it too much. Uh, but these are all sources of static that can slowly build up in, in your machine and, and cause issues. So after a minute, release your power button. We're going to put your battery back in. So if you had an easy battery where you just slide it in, then just slide it back in. If you had an internal battery, re-plug it in or set this back in, however your battery is connected. And then you're also going to plug back in your charger. Now try turning on your machine. If your machine turns on, you've solved the problem, it was a static buildup, avoid those things that we talked about. If your computer does not turn on, it means it could be your battery or your charger. So now we're going to diagnose those. Unplug your charger again, remove your battery again. Hold the power button down for one minute. After you've held that down for a minute, put your battery back in. Again, either slide it in or, or replug it in, whatever you have to do. Put your battery back in, leave your charger unplugged, and now try turning on your computer. If your computer turns on, it means that it itself is good and the battery is good. It means your charger is probably going bad. What happens sometimes in a bad charger or bad battery, if, if they're endangering the health of the computer, the computer can sense that and it will stop itself from turning on to not be damaged by the bad uh, component. So replace your charger. If that didn't work, take out your battery, hold it down, hold, hold the power button down for another minute, and then plug your charger back in, but leave your battery out. Try turning your computer on. If it turns on, then same thing. Your computer works, charger works, now you need to replace the battery because it was stopping your computer from turning on. If after these steps your computer is still not turning on, then unfortunately what that means, like we discussed in the beginning of the video, is probably a more complicated repair or a more expensive repair. At this point, the path you take to troubleshoot is going to depend on the exact symptoms of your computer. So, if your computer is turning on but freezing, or if it's turning on and then turning back off again, go into the description down below, check out video number 4. That will show you how to perform a BIOS reset of your computer. If that doesn't work, look at video 5 in the description. That'll show you how to do a factory reset on your computer. However, if your computer is not turning on at all and giving you no signs of life when you hit that power button, uh, perform the BIOS reset that's in video 4 in the description. But if that doesn't work, then look at video 6 in the description. That will show you how to test your charger itself to make sure that it's delivering the correct amount of power into your computer. If after video 6 you've confirmed that your charger is working correctly, look at video 7 in the description. That will take you into the power jack on how to test your power jack to make sure that it's working. Sometimes these go bad or the boards they're on go bad and even though this is delivering the right power to it, the jack may not be delivering that to the motherboard. So that would be the route you would take uh, troubleshooting from here. Please like and share if this video was helpful. Uh, please subscribe if you enjoy do-it-yourself computer repair. And thank you for watching.